In today's video, I am going to discuss 5 ways on how to stay afloat in your poultry business during these hard economic times as we hope for things to go back to normal. We are still in the post-corona era and also there's this war that is going on between the uh, Russians and the Ukrainians and these have created disruptions of economies in many countries and during these hard economic times it have become almost unbearable for us the poultry farmers. Poultry feed prices are skyrocketing averaging to even double the prices we used to buy them. Many poultry farms are at the edge of being closed up. Worst of all is that customers Customers are not willing to buy from you if you raise the prices of your poultry products. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. And also, make sure that you like this video as I explain how to overcome hard times and emerge on the other side after things go back to normal. Here is how to save cost despite the skyrocketing increases in feed prices. Number one, you are going to reduce your stock by selling the less productive animals. Reducing the number of birds in is, a is a very difficult uh, decision. But hard times require hard decisions. You have to do this if you want to keep your farm running. The advantage behind this is to lower the amount you spend on feeds which are consumed by the less productive birds. Number two, you are going to add value to your product. The most important thing is to get profit after selling your farm produce. A value addition will help you to earn more profits. For example, if you are into meat chicken farming, that is the broilers, that is broiler farming, you can add value by simply processing uh, these broiler birds and packaging them. By doing this, your produce will attract high price, higher prices and you will earn more money. The third thing is that you are going to reduce your workforce. If reducing the number of farm attendants in the, is the best option to keep your farm running, Running, you should go ahead. Uh, do not forget that when it becomes difficult to pay the wages and salaries, uh, some of the workers will resign or leave with, with or no prior notification. If you have reduced your work workforce to reduce your operating costs, then it's a wise decision because it means you are going to save some amount of money. The fourth thing is that you are going to buy feeds or the, and the feed ingredients in bulk. When you buy feeds or feed ingredients in bulk or in large quantities, the sellers or sup uh, suppliers tend to give you a discount. Some will even provide free delivery, thereby helping you save some cash. Therefore, if you can afford to to buy feed ingredients or feeds in large quantities and have a good place to keep them, go ahead with it. You are going to save some money. The other important thing that you are going to do is you are going to improve your management practices. A poor animal management would cause you to spend more on the things like um, more on some things, for example, the drugs or medications, the littering material, and also the energy, for example, the electricity used by the bulbs and other things. You should take farm hygiene and sanitation seriously on your farm. Biosecurity measures must be put in place to protect you and your animals. Uh, avoid overcrowding and water spillage to reduce the frequency of changing the litter. Uh, also make sure that you vaccinate the birds at the right time to reduce the chances of disease outbreak. Also, you should ensure to avoid feed wastages either in the feed milling either during feed milling or in the chicken house as the birds feed, improving your management practices is the major way to help you prevent losses in the farm. But during these difficult times, saving that penny is very important. Make sure that you click the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to learn on cheaper feed to feed your chicken to cut the cost of production during these hard economic times.